For question 25, we have initial value problem. Twenty-five. Question says solve the following. You get x squared dy over dx equals to y minus x times y, and you have an initial value which is given as y at negative one is equal to negative one. Well, is this separable? Let us do the algebra. Try to make this separable. First of all, here you can multiply everything by dx. You can factor out y. You get x squared dy equals to y one minus x dx. Then you can divide divide up by x squared divide by y, and you get dy over y equals to one minus x over x squared dx. So is it separable? It is separable. Now let's do the calculus part. Take the integral of both sides. We get ln of absolute value of y equals to, here you have, let us separate these integrals, one over x squared minus x over x squared dx. So ln of absolute value of y becomes negative one over x minus ln of absolute value of x plus constant of integration. Let's try to apply algebra, simplify this as much as we can. Okay. So let us bring all lines to one side and apply the method of lines, the properties of lines, ln of absolute value of one plus ln of absolute value of x is equal to negative one over x plus c sub one. Here you have addition between two lines. So you're going to multiply x and y negative one over x plus c sub one. Using the definition of ln, absolute value of x, y is equal to e2 negative one over x plus c sub one. So let us continue the rest here. We get absolute value of x, y equals to e2 power negative one over x, e2 power c sub one. So x, y becomes plus minus e2 c sub one, e2 negative one over x, and let us just call this guy a new constant xc. So xy is equal to c e2 negative one over x. So it seems like we found the family of the solutions of this differential equation. So how do we apply the initial value problem? It says, well, Wherever you see x, your y must be negative one. So let's see what do we have here. When x is negative one, y is negative one. So on the left hand side, you have negative one times negative one. And on the right hand side, you have c, which is missing e to power negative one over negative one. So one is equal to c e to power one or just e. So C is equal to one over E or C is E to negative one. Now that you have your constant, we have our constant. Let us just plug that back into the family of the solutions and find the particular solution. So X, Y becomes E to negative one, E to negative one over X, or x y is e to negative one minus one over x is 
the particular solution of the differential equation. So this guy is your family of solutions. And this one, since it doesn't have any constant, it doesn't have any parameter, is called the particular solution. 